It takes all kinds to build the biggest playground Evansville has ever seen. I thought it would be fun, so that's why I'm here. But the only tools you'll find inside this army green tent are brushes and buckets. Painting a Pegasus. It did not exist this morning, so we also drew it. That was fun. Erica Tidwell and a few U of E art students are earning some class credit while volunteering their time to make Mickey's kingdom a little brighter. I have something available for the kids to see. Like the entire playground, she helped build this from nothing. I'm awesome. okay with it. Awesome. I, I like that. It's, it's pretty good. In just a few weeks' time, 20,000 square feet will turn into a castle, and the artwork is all in on a fairy tale. I plan to bring my niece and nephew once it's finished. But the theme in here is less about sweat. A little sweaty. Not too bad and more about smiles. We really can't complain because we're in here. We have a really nice van. For years to come, their work will be seen by thousands. I'm just now starting to get grandbabies. I have one that's a year old and another one due in January. So I'm hoping that, you know, they'll come down here and they'll use the park and it'll be here forever. A few hours now with a lifetime to admire later. I feel like you get out of a community what you put in it and I think it's really important to volunteer. A masterpiece isn't painted in a day. Making a small difference in a big project. It takes time and effort. It's all for fun. And this is the community's canvas. When you give back to the community, the community gives back to you. Stuart Hammer. They're going to have a great park here. Eyewitness News.